Hello, sports fans and NFL football fans. It is me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here with my Week 8 picks, as you can see on the screen. Week 8. It's coming down the pike. Now, as I do in most cases, I will recap what I did last week, so that you're aware of that. Last week, I was 9-4 and four in 13 games. Wow! What are your qualifications? Ah, well, I attend the Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I lived through the Black Plague, and I had a pretty good time during that. I've seen the Exorcist about 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it! Not to mention the fact that you're talking to a dead guy. Now what do you think? You think I'm qualified? <laughs> Sorry. Nine and four in 13 games. And uh, that makes me 67 and 40 on the year and riding a 62.6% pick percentage. But with that having been said, let's get into the picks. So anyway, uh, the first game will be Thursday, October 28th, and that will be the Cardinals at home against the Packers. There's your matchup right there. And who am I going to pick? Well, you know what? The Packers are having a really good year, but... The Cardinals are undefeated, and they always find a way to win. So, yeah, back off. Back off, Packers. We're going to go with the Cards in this one. Cardinals over the Packers on Thursday Night Football. So, that brings us to the Sunday. Sunday, October 31st, Halloween game. And that's going to be the first game that I'm going to look at is the Falcons at home. And there's the Falcon crowing right there. No, actually, it's probably a raven. But um, we have the Falcons at home playing Carolina. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? I'm going to go with the Falcons in this one. Yes, the Falcons are at home. They showed some resiliency last week in winning at the very end of the game. And I think I'm going to go with them to beat Carolina. Carolina seems like they... It seems like they were lucky in the first few games of the year that they started out um, on that hot streak that they were on. So, I'm not putting a lot of faith in the fact that uh, the Carolina that we saw early in the season is really the Carolina that we're going to see going forward. The next game we have, the Bills are at home against uh, the Dolphins. And uh, yeah, <laughs> right. No, we are not going with the Dolphins in this one. We are going to definitely take the Bills. I've got the Bills probably winning the AFC East. In fact, not even probably. They will win the AFC East. And they will beat Miami up in Buffalo this week. The next one we have is... The Jets at home over the uh, Bengals, but they're not. I'm, not. I'm taking the Bengals in this one. Yeah, I, I, I lost my mind there for a minute. It was all this spooky background got me. No, 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 no. We're going to go with the Bengals. The Bengals were impressive in beating the Ravens, and who would have thought that? So, yeah, the, uh, the Jets are uh, at home, but they're going to lose to the Bengals. Big time. If I had a lock, that would be the lock. 
The next one you have is the Browns at home against the Steelers. Do, 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 do. Who's going to win this one? Yeah, well, it's going to be the Browns. I'm going to go with the Browns. Even a depleted Browns, I think, are likely to beat the Steelers. Because I'm still not sold on the Steelers as being good, if you know what I'm saying. So even if Baker Mayfield doesn't play for the Browns, and he may not, I'm still going to take the Browns in that game. I still think they win it with... Uh, with that guy Keenum Case Keenum at quarterback. Good game manager, and I think he can beat the Steelers. The next one we have is the Lions are at home against Philadelphia. And guess who I'm going with here? Yeah, back off. Now, that brain that you gave me, was it... Hans Delbrooks? No. Ah. Good. Uh, would you mind telling me whose brain I did put in? And you won't be angry. I will not be angry. Philadelphia, I am going with the Lions in this one. I just have a feeling about the Lions. They, they've played a lot of close games this year. They've kept te games close in the first, especially in the first half. They lost two games on last second field goals. And Philadelphia is really not impressing me. I wasn't early on. I was a big Philadelphia guy. But uh, no more. I'm not really sold on Philadelphia anymore. The next one we have, the Texans are at home, and they're playing the Rams. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> right, get out of the screen. We're going to take the Rams in this one easily. The Rams over the Texans. Uh, the Texans haven't really shown anything since game one, and they had Tyrod Taylor at quarterback then, and I think he's still out. And, uh, you know, the Rams with Stafford this year, they look like a tough team to beat, but they're certainly going to beat teams that are not very good. The next one we have, the Bears are in Chicago taking on the San Francisco 49ers. And guess what? I'm going with the Bears. In a little change here, I'm going to go with the Bears over... The 49ers, they weren't very... The 49ers were... Now, the Bears were terrible. They were absolutely terrible. But that was against the world champion Buccaneers. But the 49ers didn't look good at home in a rainstorm against the Colts, who are really not that great of a team. So we're going to go with the Bears in that one. The next one we have... The Chargers are at home against your Patriots. And uh, who are we going to take in this one? Yeah, I'm going to go with the Chargers in this one. I know Belichick has uh, hes got those guys playing some good football, and they destroyed the Jets. They dismantled the Jets. But the Chargers, I believe, are going to be coming off a bye, and uh, they're going to be looking for, you know, they're going to be uh, they're going to be hungry. And I think they're a better team than the Patriots anyway in general. You might have a coaching, um, you know, a coaching advantage with Belichick, but the team, I think the talent on the team is just too much. So the next one we got is the Seahawks are at home against the Jaguars. And uh, yeah, right. We're going to go with the Seahawks here. Even though the Seahawks are not going to have Russell Wilson, I still think that they're good enough to beat the Jaguars, who are not very good. Let's face it, they only beat Miami, and Miami is showing that they are horrible. So that really wasn't much of a thing. Next, you got the Saints at home taking on the world champion Buccaneers who just dismantled my Bears. And I, you know what? I don't think anybody can stop the Buccaneers now. 
I think they do have a loss. Yes, they do have a loss, but I'm still going to go, yeah, back off the Saints. We're going to go with the Buccaneers in this one. Tom Brady, TB12, over the Saints. The next one we have is... The Broncos are at home against the Washington football team. And in this one, I'm going to take the Washington football team. I think the Washington football team is going to beat the Broncos. The Broncos kind of, you know, they fooled me a little early on, but now they're not fooling anybody anymore. They're not that good. So I'm going to go with the Washington football team in that one. Take them and... The next game that we have is the Vikings at home against the Dallas Cowboys. Now, if you know, the Dallas Cowboys have the best offense in the NFL. Did anybody tell you that? Well, they do. And even though Cousins has been playing great this year, and actually he was good last year, this Vikings team is a little deceptive, though. But you know what's not deceptive? The Dallas Cowboys. They are not deceptive. They play pretty good defense now, and they have a high-powered offense. And I've got them beating the Vikings this week. And the final game, and this one, yeah, this one, I'm, I'm a little scared about this one. <laughs> and it's ironic because this one is actually on Monday, November 1st. This is Monday Night Football. It's the Chiefs against the Giants. And the Chiefs are at home, but I am still going to go with the Chiefs. Even though the Chiefs have proven that they are falling apart. <laughs> I mean, they really do look like they're falling apart. But I still think that the Chiefs will beat bad teams. And the Giants still qualify as a bad team. So those are my picks. How did you like them? What do you think? Do you like those picks? Because, uh... You know, I do. Leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what um, differences you have um, from what my picks were. And, um, and really leave a comment. Tell me anything else. Oh, by the way, I should mention that the two teams, there's only two teams, just two teams this week with buys because there are 15 games this week. Not 16, but 15. And the two teams that will be on a bye are Baltimore and Las Vegas. So, with that having been said, I think that's about all I've got to say. And that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke with your Week 8 Picks.